What's cooking good looking? I'm Mila Clark Buckley, the hangry woman, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make a very simple kale salad with goat cheese, pomegranates, and pecans. I love this salad. It is so absolutely delicious, very, very easy to make, and only requires a few simple ingredients. You can make your own dressing for this, which I'm gonna show you how to do, and it's super tangy, salty, a little sour. It's just got all of the best flavors, and it's really simple to make. First up are your ingredients. We'll need two cups of chopped kale, two ounces of pomegranates, a quarter cup of pecans, a small log of herbed goat cheese. You can also get plain goat cheese. Whatever kind of goat cheese you want is fine. And some salt. And that's for the actual salad base. For the dressing, we'll use apple cider vinegar, Dijon mustard, a little bit of lemon juice, and avocado oil. And it comes together very simply and easily. We'll season that also with a little bit of salt just to make sure that all of the flavors come together. We're going to start out by making our dressing. I like to make my dressing in the bowl that I'm going to dress the salad. You're gonna find that when we're talking through this recipe, making the salad is all about using your hands and it's going to result in a really delicious and tender kale. So first we'll start with our mustard. So I'm gonna add mustard in. You don't really have to measure this. I would say do two turns of your little bowl of mustard. And you can always go back and add as you taste it and as you see like what the flavors develop and look like. I'm gonna shake up our apple cider vinegar. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. I've got my lemon juice. You can use bottled lemon juice if it's easier for you. I tend to buy bottled lemon juice because I use lemons all the time and then I'll go back and season with fresh lemons as well. But sometimes this is like the only thing that's available so it's okay to get that. And so you'll need about two teaspoons of that acid. And then you're going to start to whisk. So you'll give it a little whisk, get all of these ingredients in here incorporated just a little bit and then your oil is going to emulsify it so it's going to make it like nice and thick and fatty so you're just going to drizzle that in you're going to drizzle in about a tablespoon i like to go slow with this so i don't get too much oil and that there looks pretty good so i'm just going to keep whisking until it all comes together and it looks good to me you can kind of lift it and see there how it's gotten like a little bit thicker. It's not as like watered down. And then I'm gonna taste it to make sure flavors are good. Tastes good to me. It's a little mustardy. So I'm gonna add extra pinch of salt in there. A little bit more oil. And you're gonna see this will pair really nicely with like the herbs from the goat cheese and the pomegranates. It's very nice. So let's see, let's give it a taste again. That's better. I'm gonna add just a little bit of extra apple cider vinegar. So that's gonna take it up to two teaspoons just for that little extra bit of that nice like acid. And apple cider vinegar, if you're living with diabetes, is a really nice ingredient to use in foods. It helps with blood sugar just a little bit. So we'll give it one more taste. That's perfect to me, I like it. And we don't need any more salt or anything. So I'm gonna set my whisk aside because we don't really need that anymore. And then we're just gonna go into assembling the salad. So let's move some of our things out of the way here so you can see it. So we're gonna assemble the salad. We're gonna start by taking our kale, dumping that kale right into our salad dressing. And we can go back and use this bowl as like a way to serve it and present it. The one thing that I want you to know about this is that when you are eating kale, a lot of people don't like kale because they think it's too chewy, they think it's too tough, but you need to massage it. You need to get it like to a softer point. So using this vinaigrette will break down kind of the fibers in that kale and make it a little bit softer and just like more palatable and nicer to eat. 
So I'm gonna take a little pinch of salt over the top just to salt the kale a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with my hands and I'm just gonna massage that kale. So I'm gonna get that dressing right in there and you can see already, you know, two cups of kale breaks down really quickly. And I'm getting a little messy over here also, you can see, but you wanna give it a good two, three minutes and just really get in there. This is great stress relief also. It's gonna help the flavors of the dressing get into the kale, but it's also going to help to make the kale nice and tender. So we just keep going. It's looking really good. And like I said, I just get my hands in there and I let it do its thing and it looks really good and it feels really nice. That's how you get that good texture with kale, is just get in there with your hands. And it's nice to feel your food. It's nice to kind of like, you know, see what your food feels like. And I think that helps to make you a better cook because you get to like touch and feel your food, see if the textures feel good instead of just smelling good or just looking at them. You actually get in there with your hands and I think it makes for a nicer cooking experience too. So grabbing my bowl back here, I've got a few pieces, so I'll just throw these guys in here and then scoop out our kale back into our original bowl. Look at how good that looks. And see, it's a whole lot less than when we started because we massaged it down. So two cups feels like a lot at first, but could actually probably eat more. Okay, so we'll set this bowl aside. Put a little whisk in there, get those guys out of the way. And then we're going to start to top our salad. So I like to kind of like fluff it up a little bit. Um, you can start with herbed goat cheese. So you literally just take the goat cheese. I take a fork, I let it come to a softened room temperature and then with a fork, you just kind of like pick at it and it's gonna crumble it just like this. So you've got some nice large goat cheese crumbles here. Then I'll take my pomegranates and shake them up a little bit to separate them and then just give those a good sprinkle over the top. Then I have my pecans. So I'm just gonna take these, they're whole pecans. I'm gonna break them up and also sprinkle them over the top. These are nice for crunch and they're also a really good fat and you can do as much or as little as you would like. And then that's literally it. You have a beautiful salad ready to go. It's so nice and colorful. It's plant-based. It's gonna fill you up. It's gonna taste so good and you'll enjoy it. I really love salads as a super easy meal. They're just easy to throw together, just getting the few ingredients and putting it in a bowl, massaging the kale a little bit, and even making your own dressing. Like you can do this really quickly and it's so tasty and good for you. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you try this recipe. The link is gonna be down below in the description. It'll be on my blog so you can walk through it step by step and have this delicious salad. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Also leave a comment down below with what you think. Would you try this salad? Are you going to try this salad? Are you gonna make your own dressing? Are you inspired to do any of that? I wanna know, I wanna know how these videos are affecting you and just how it's making you think about being in the kitchen more often. I appreciate you guys for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!